Hey, yo, what's up, family and friends? It's time for us to get inside this morning in Spo, and it's coming from Esther, chapter 4, verse 14 from the NIV. And it says, If you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance will rise from another place, but you and your father's family will perish. And who knows, but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. If you remain silent at this time. Now Mordecai was talking to Esther. He had gotten a word back that she wasn't quite sure if she wanted to help the family. What Mordecai was telling her is that, hey, you have been put in position to help the king make a decision to save the Jews. Mm. Now that was powerful. Esther wasn't quite sure if she wanted to do that. So Mordecai was her uncle and he was letting her know, okay, if you don't do it, there will be another one that God will raise up who will. But because you didn't, your family won't even be considered safe. Okay? So while you're in the position that you're in, you need to come on and help your kinfolk. You know what I'm saying? All the Jews. To bring it home, some of us in our families are the chosen one. And there doesn't have to just be one. However, there is one that God said, I'm going to set you apart. I'm going to sanctify you. We talked about that on the other day. Sanctification or sanctified means to be set apart. And as a believer, you're set apart to do works or services for God. There are some of us who God has called to say, hey, I need you to be the one for your family line to break these generational curses. Because if you don't do it, another one will. But you don't want to miss out on a blessing either. If God has put you in a position to help your family, help your family. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not necessarily talking about financially. But right now, we're talking about spiritually. You never know. You could be that one that God has chosen to be the liberator or the help to help your family and others. Be okay with being in the position that you win, even if people don't like it. Do you, because God chose you. Ooh, that was bars. Oh yeah, and can I be honest with y'all? When I read this chapter, I was like, Lord, how am I gonna break this down? They may not even understand it. But I'm gonna tell you something. I was like, okay, Lord, give me the download. And he did. I pray that you are able to receive and process what I said. I love y'all. God loves you best. Hug yourself for me. Mwah.